My name is James, a teacher of mathematics of um, many years. The, in our lesson today, we would like to look at um, a Form 1 topic in mathematics on integers. And specifically, we want to look at the order of operations. In primary school, this is sometimes referred to as uh, board math. which is a short form for brackets of division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. The objective is only one, to be able to evaluate given arithmetic expressions with the, the operations of addition, multiplication, and subtraction following the correct order. That is the board mass. So we now move straight on to the example that we are going to uh, follow. We would like to evaluate this expression applying the correct order of operations. So when we move to the order given here, we need to start with the brackets. And so we move straight here. We simplify the bracket. So we will move to minus 2 plus 8. Inside the bracket, we can see there is minus 3 times 2. So we can remove the bracket here so that we have minus 18. Then, oh, so we are through with the brackets. And now we interpret the off to mean multiplication. And it will mean that we create our own bracket here. So that now the expression becomes minus 2 plus 8 divided by 4 times 6 of 18. That would mean uh, 6 times 18 which will uh, times negative 18 which will give us negative 108 we can see that our expression is becoming simpler and simpler and now we need to go to the next operation which is uh, division the best thing is to create brackets around that division and the division appears here. You must also remember that the positive sign belongs to the 8. But even with the bracket there, no difference. So we divide 8 by 4. And that will give us 2. Then multiply by negative 108. And we are drawn with the division. So we now look at the situation where there is the multiplication sign. And the multiplication sign appears there. And we multiply that out. And the 2 times negative 108 gives us negative 216. Therefore, we can say. That, which uh, means that we, we are adding negative 216 to the negative 2, 
so that we get the final answer as negative 218. We have dealt therefore with the multiplication, addition, and in our question, it appears there was no direct subtraction, so we can stop at that point. For the learner at home, you can try out this, uh, this question and see whether you followed the steps as we have discussed them. Remember, there are many other questions that can be done from your textbooks, and that is now on the part of the learner. Otherwise, remember to subscribe so that we can move forward together.